All right, so move on to the next segment. Which NFL coaches should be fired by the end of the NFL season? Got a pretty good list with these head coaches. Starting with guy, coach number one, Ron Rivera, coach for the Washington Commanders. If you're a Washington Commanders fan, it has been a rough NFL season for all Commanders fans out there watching and listening. I don't feel sorry for you being a Dallas Cowboys fan, but the matter is... You guys have been through a lot this NFL season. You just traded both of your top pass rushers by the NFL trade deadline in Montez Sweat and Chase Young. The franchise finds itself at four and six, third place in the NFC East. Then Ron Rivera did not do has not done a good coaching job with the Washington Commanders in his three year stint with the franchise or four year stint with the franchise. Their best season since Ron Rivera has been at the helm was when they won the NFC East at seven and nine back in the 2020 NFL season. That's nothing to be proud of when that's the worst division of football and the best you could do is win seven games and have nine losses to your resume. And Ron Rivera, as a coach, he's been 25, he has 25 wins, 33 losses, one draw to his resume with the Washington Commanders as their head coach. The Commanders have been the laughing stock of the NFC East over the last few years. I do not see this team making the playoffs. New ownership has taken place for the Washington Commanders, and I truly believe they will be looking for a new head coach for the franchise after this season. I don't see Ron Rivera being there. Eric Bieniemy has done a great job elevating Sam Howell in that Washington Commanders offense. They might have their guy for the sake of the future at the head coaching position, already as their offensive coordinator, but I don't see Ron Rivera being there much longer. I do believe he will be fired by this after this NFL season. Next coach. Oh my gosh, this guy's got to be gone by the end of the NFL season. Next coach, Arthur Smith, head coach for the Atlanta Falcons. I'm not really sure what the Atlanta Falcons saw in Arthur Smith years ago when they took him for uh, when he was the former offensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans. I'm not really sure what the Atlanta Falcons saw in Arthur Smith. But he's not an offensive master not mastermind by any means, and I do believe that I can run a better offensive scheme with that talent in Atlanta than what Arthur Smith can do right now. His offense reminds me of Greg Roman. It's a Greg Roman 2.0 system in the National Football League, what Arthur Smith is doing with the Atlanta Falcons, just like Greg Roman. He loves to run the football. What does Arthur Smith love to do? run the football but when it's time to pass the ball when it's time to move the ball down the chains when it move the ball down the sticks when it matters most where is your offense and that has shown in time in time out for the Atlanta Falcons when it matters most uh, and his play calling has always been suspect to me and it took the whole entire National Football League fan base to notice that you're not giving your best player, Bijan Robinson, rookie from Texas, uh, running back. It took you weeks to finally listen to the people that you're not giving your best running back, your best offensive player, handoffs in the end zone. And you finally did it yesterday for the first time in weeks, gave him a carry in the, in the red zone. And... I, it takes. It doesn't take a good head coach to know that your best player should get touches in the red zone. This team is somehow, some way, still in the hunt to win the NFC South, a, the worst division in football right now. And I still don't see them winning this division with Arthur Smith at the helm. So if they can't win this easy NFC South division that has a lot of problems all across the board, Arthur Smith should be gone. And I do believe this will be his final season with the Atlanta Falcons. Next guy. Brandon Staley, head coach for the Los Angeles Chargers. For a defensive mastermind head coach and going up against opposing offenses on a weekly basis, I don't understand how your defense gets scored on all the time if you're supposed to be a defensive mastermind head coach because your defensive scheme has been terrible over the last few years and the Chargers defense has been getting uh, glad slashed by a lot of offenses over the, across the NFL for the last few years. I'm not even sure how Brandon Staley still has a job after blowing a 27-3 lead in the playoffs to the Jacksonville Jaguars in the wild card game last year. He's not a leader. He's holding Justin Herbert, who is a top 10 quarterback in the National Football League, back. He's holding this talented team back from be one day becoming a true contender in the AFC, let alone being a contender in the AFC West that has been owned by the Kansas City Chiefs for the last six to seven years. This 
It's been a bad job, coaching job for Brandon Staley. He finds himself at a record of 23 wins, 20 losses to his coaching resume uh, with the Los Angeles Chargers. If they miss the playoffs, there's no and ifs, or buts about it. He has to be fired from the Los Angeles Chargers after this season. So I think I put together a pretty good list. These are the following NFL head coaches that I believe should be fired by the end of the NFL season.